This guy? Really? What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope you're ready for the weekend. So, look, we're coming off a dreadful series against the Angels. They took two out of three in, in terrible weather. and But that's no excuse because they played in the same weather the Yankees played in, and they beat us pretty bad. So now we get the Texas Rangers coming into town. we got to do better against them. And that remains to be seen. Hopefully they'll get to play today. Hopefully it won't be raining out. It's supposed to be raining all day today. So stay tuned, right? I'll keep you updated one way or the other. And, you know, x-rays did came up, come up on negative on Anthony Volpe, which is going to get a foul ball off his foot. So he said, it sounds like he's day-to-day, -day, which is good, which is really, really good. We need him now. Okay, we need Alex Verdugo's bat to, you know, come to life. We need all our guys to come to life. DJ, Glaber, all the guys that are going to be in that lineup. And I would expect to see more of DJ now because we're going to see more lefty pitchers. Okay, and speaking of lefty pitchers, <laughs> one of them is today throwing four teams. And the Yankees and Dodgers have expressed interest in him recently. Rich Hill. Okay. This guy's 44 years old. All right. Now, <laughs> I'm not talking Satchel Page territory because he was pitching in his 50s. But, you know, we're, we're, have, we're talking the Julio Franco conversation here. This is a guy in his, approaching his mid-40s who's looking to pitch again in the majors. And he did pitch last year in 2023. He was 9-14, and 14, 8-14 with a 5-41 ERA. 146 innings pitch, 129K. So he can give some innings, right? He's not by, be, by no stretch of imagination a sexy name. But what lefties were available at the trade deadline that were quality lefties? Now, I, I, I thought Tyler Anderson might have been an option, but he wasn't moved. It sounds like he might not even be been, been available. So who else was available? I was a lefty. No idea. Okay, and the fact of the matter is the lefty that we do have, Nestor Cortez, it's not pitching well. Okay, I've said this. I've, I've been proposing him as a trade option for the last two years. Okay, he had the one good year, drastically overused, and his shoulder, and he threw way beyond what he should have thrown. And as he hasn't benefited, he hasn't recovered since. With an exception of a game here, a good game there, right? He, he's been a shell of himself. And I do think he's peaked as a pitcher in the Yankees. So he's got one more year left. So I do expect him to you know, consider it as a trade option this offseason for a team that wants to add a lefty. But if Rich Hill comes in here, if he does, he's throwing for some teams today again, and they didn't really disclose the name of teams, but the Yankees and the Dodgers have publicly expressed interest in him. And then if they're if they're expressing interest in a 44-year-old lefty, then there's clearly not a lefty, a lot of lefties that are high level and that are performers on the market. So that's sad. But I'll keep you updated one way or the other. As it comes to Rich Hill, as it comes to the Yankees, I still think they're going to add a lefty to the bullpen too. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not yet. Make sure to hit the notifications as well. Um, that way when I do go live, you know. When I put out news, you'll know at the front of the line too. So, And speaking of you know baseball, as we start to progress towards the last stretch of the season, after the season's over, it tends to be a dull period. Well, I'm going to transition right into football on this channel. Okay, I tried to start a football channel on YouTube, but it never really took off. So I'm going to use, you know, and a lot of folks, if you're a baseball fan and a football fan, there's not going to be any down period in the offseason. Okay, so and I'll, and I'll transition to football. I'll go live on Sundays, talk about it. And we're going to talk about Bills, Jets, Giants. I'll recap every other game as well on every team. So no matter who your team, whatever team you root for, I'm going to talk about them. But it's going to be primarily, obviously, the New York teams and all the, team, the New York teams that play in New Jersey. I mean, the Bills, Jets, Giants. So we'll talk about all three of them. And I'll keep you updated every week as well. So, and uh, once again, once baseball season's over, there won't be any dry spots. And then we'll transition right into free agency, right into everything else. So you'll be updated on everything. And you'll be in the loop on football too. So get excited, fans. I hope you I hope you I hope you are happy to hear that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that on this channel. So we're gonna spice things up a little bit make it more fun. But that's what I have for you today. Like Rich Hill is the Yankees are considering him. So are the Dodgers. That just goes to show, you know, lack of options that are available out there. I mean Garrett Crochet was supposed to be available, but he wasn't moved. Right? He's a lefty. Okay. And the other lefty, Tarek Scoopa, wasn't moved. But like I said, there were options that were available. They never really got moved. So were they really available? 
I don't know. I <laughs> can't tell. But like we're, we're in the Rich Hill conversation now, which is kind of crazy to me. So let me know if it's crazy to you too. Load up the comments. Let's talk about this one, okay? <laughs> and I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are. I mean, is there anybody else that's out there? We know some guys that are being DFA'd that have been DFA'd by the teams by the trade deadline, like lefty relievers, since they've added you know, guys like Tanner Scott and AJ Puck. And, uh, but they have to clear waivers and all that stuff to become free agents in order to be able to be claimed to sign by another team. And that hasn't happened yet as far as we know. So um, when that happens, I'll keep you updated as well. And, and I'll point out some specific targets that the Yankees might be looking at. Because I do expect them to add a lefty to the bullpen. And right now it's just Tim Hill. So, and that's it. I mean, unless they transition Nestor Cortez to the bullpen, which I've said they should do as well. But that's just my opinion. I would be transitioning him to long relief at least. And have a swingman on the lefty side like him. Have the swingman on the righty side like Luke Weaver. And we have two swingmen in the bullpen, long relief, which, again, serve as a bridge from the rotation to the short relievers in the bullpen. Okay, and the fact is Clark Schmidt's coming back. They did not make it a, a trade deadline acquisition to add to the bullpen, so we're relying on Clark Schmidt to come back and be productive. Okay, and whatever, whatever, we've added a couple arms to the back end of the bullpen, which is good, Mark Lattie Jr. and then you know, Del Santos, but then we still – there's still some other arms that are still to come back too. You've got Ian, Ian uh, Hamilton uh, to come back. You've got Scott E. Frost potentially to come back, but he still has to work on some command in the minors. We've got um, Nick Birdie as well as John Birdie coming back, who's a position player. So we've got several guys, and the Yankees going to have some tough decisions to make on the roster moving forward on the 26. These guys are all on 40 already. So – the tough decisions are going to be made on the 26. And I'll keep you updated on every single one of those too. And if anything else that happens today – You'll get it. And I'll be back later on with the lineup and stuff. I mean, they're, they're supposed to play the Texas Rangers tonight, but it's supposed to be raining all day. There's a good chance of the game being postponed and being another, another doubleheader tomorrow. And if they do that, I expect some roster moves because they're going to need some fresh bodies in here. They really, really are. So stay tuned, gang. Let me know what you think about Rich Hill. Let me know if you're happy to hear about the football coverage that I'm going to be doing now. Talk to you next time.